Whoa. Hey, what's up? So I'm out walking my dog and I always think of some cool stuff. Not always, but a lot of times I think of cool stuff when I'm out walking my dog. So I thought I'd just start ranting on it right now. So like, I'm tired of people saying that uh, you can't trust YouTube videos. Like, oh, where'd you get your information from? A YouTube video? <laughs> you rely on YouTube for your information. <laughs> and I said, where do you get your information from? And they're like, from like books and scholarly articles that are peer reviewed. It's like, no you don't, you watch the news. And if you'll notice, almost everybody who does watch the news and rely on the news entirely will say, I don't just watch the news. I read peer review scholarly articles and shit. They try to appear to be like, like smarter than just dumbasses watching the TV, which is what most of them are. They just dumbasses watching TV telling you that YouTube isn't credible. So what I like to do <laughs> is I like to say, well, what happens when I upload NASA footage to YouTube? Does that then make that not credible? So I can take an actual NASA clip that is credible when you film it, but then once you stick it on YouTube, it's not credible. So this picture of my dog is a real picture, but the second it goes on YouTube, not credible. It might not be a real dog, man. You can't take my word for it. See? Can't take my word that that would be a real dog because it's on YouTube, right? So I'm tired of this YouTube isn't, tr isn't trustworthy bullshit. Because here's another thing about YouTube that I like. I can go and find out about government conspiracies. Where else are you going to find out about a government conspiracy? Hmm, is the government going to tell you about it? No. Is the TV going to tell you about government conspiracy? No. TV is controlled by the government. Duh. So where in the fuck are you supposed to go? Scholarly peer-reviewed articles which explain government corruption? Fuck off. All those people would be employed by the government. Who do you think employs all these scientists and all these peers in which they review things? They aren't employed by the American Good Guys of Science and We Never Lie Foundation. They're employed by government agencies and corporations. <laughs> they wouldn't have a job if they told you the truth. <laughs> if they gave us real data, <laughs> they wouldn't be a scientist. <laughs> they would be an unemployed scientist. <laughs> so, back to my original, original statement here. YouTube is trustworthy as long as you sift through the bullshit and find something that sounds and feels good to you. Truth is what resonates in your heart. That's what I've come to find. Everybody's lying. Everybody's lying all the time. Everybody. So you almost have to dig through a ton of bullshit. And it's out there on the internet. The truth is out there. You can find old pictures of the fucking lunar module that look like shit. You can find old pictures of them building a, a model of the moon so they could use that to fake us out and act like they went to the moon. You can find old pictures <laughs> of a lot of incriminating evidence and old videos, incriminating as hell. And all you have to do is just keep your mind open, remember your government lies to you, and people on YouTube can lie to you, but some people out there are telling the truth. But it isn't the government. People on YouTube, some of them, are actually uploading truthful, useful, meaningful content. And if you dismiss it just because it's on YouTube, you're literally dismissing every fucking video you've ever taken once you stick it on YouTube. Take a video of your grandma or a family reunion and then stick it on YouTube and then does that, so now it's not real, that never happened. So if you tell me about your family reunion and show me a video, I'll say that's on YouTube. Pfft, that's not fucking credible. How do I even know that that's real? See what I'm saying? Like, I'm tired of this YouTube is not credible. Everything's on YouTube. Mainstream media has news pages on YouTube. So if you watch the news at 5 p.m. and then you go to CBS on 
YouTube and watch the same fucking news on YouTube, doesn't that make the news not credible? Because the news now came on YouTube. See where I'm going with this? So if I fucking show you guys a video of 50 NASA rockets blowing up, turning sideways, not making it off the launch pad, you can't say, well, Jake, that's not credible because that's on YouTube. <laughs> no, those are NASA rockets actually blowing the fuck up. I didn't recreate that in my basement. <laughs> it's on YouTube because somebody uploaded NASA footage to YouTube of a shitload of rockets blowing up, turning sideways, not going to space. It's pretty incriminating when you watch that many rockets blow the fuck up turn sideways and not go to space. But since it's on YouTube, oh, you can't trust it. <laughs> Only trust what's on TV, not what's on YouTube. Only trust what the government tells you, not what some crazy conspiracy theorist tells you. Because the government would tell you if they were, if they were in on a conspiracy, they would totally let you know, hey guys, we demolished them buildings on 9-11, so <laughs> they would let you know, right? I mean, the government's cool and they love you. And us conspiracy, you know, idiots, us conspiracy tards, uh, conspiracy theorists, yeah, we're all just, we're all just dumb, just seeing things. <laughs> you guys know what's going on. You watch TV, they keep you well informed. They would let you know if, if Sandy Hook was a hoax. They would, they would totally be like, this is a drill. They would just let you know. They wouldn't act like it's a real shooting to push gun control. No, the government wouldn't, wouldn't ever deceive you like that. To push gun control slowly but surely take away your weapons and your second amendment right by putting on staged shootings well don't trust the internet <laughs> actually that's where you can find the truth about everything i'm talking about is on the fucking internet go dig it up it's way better than any movie hollywood is showing you right now so uh on that note here's my dog peeing